We're at E3! <laughs> uh. I'm here with Charlie Chabetta of Nintendo. Charlie, thank you so much for speaking with me. No problem. Great to talk to you. It never <laughs> feels right that I'm allowed to get into these rooms and talk to uh, important gentlemen as such as yourself. So I really appreciate it. Nintendo had your big uh, E3 conference this morning. Uh, skipped the actual live presentation and went straight online and then also did a behind uh, the scenes thing for some of the press. It's a very interesting strategy this year. How would you sum up Nintendo's strategy towards E3 this year? Well, what you're talking about is the Wii U software showcase that we did this morning, and we are trying to custom tune our delivery of information to different audiences, basically giving them what they most want to hear about. So we did a business partner presentation over at the Nokia Theater this morning for people like publishers and uh, retailers and analysts, and talked to them in a way that they want to be spoken to, the information they want, but for, for gamers and for editors that uh, cover gaming hardcore. Um, we wanted to give them what they what they want, and that's hearing about games. So that's what we did this morning. We had the uh, great games like Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Super Mario 3D World, Bayonetta 2, uh, Mario Kart 8. Right. Um, you had Miyamoto dressed as a cat, scratching my friends. Like Tony Ponce was scratched by Miyamoto earlier. Uh, it, very interesting the way you're... I almost feel like Nintendo is like a sniper this year. Sniper with something lovable like water balloons or something, a water balloon gun. You're hitting your specific targets, whereas in prior years it kind of was like a scatter shot, trying to hit everybody at the same time. But this year, you're just kind of nailing it. And for the uh, online presentation, it was all about games. It was just game, 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 game. All these, it was like a, a flood of Wii U games all of a sudden just hitting me. Um, how, tell me about the strategy moving forward with this year for how you're going to be handling the Wii U and those launch releases. Well, you know, it's funny you use the term sniper because we, we try to take a Nintendo approach to all of our games. And you look at something like Donkey Kong, you actually, you know, when you shoot a, an arrow, it's actually a fish. Because the Vikings that are that are invading are walruses and they're penguins, and that's the kind of the Nintendo fun that we, we put into our games. Uh, but you're absolutely right. It's a steady drumbeat of games. It's a steady cadence of games between now and the holiday, and then even in 2004. Uh, so what we're trying to do is really get people excited about the Wii U by giving them quality games because in the end, games, software sells hardware. And so that's what we experienced on the Nintendo 3DS. When the software came around, so did the momentum. And that's what we're optimistic is going to happen for Wii U. Yeah, you got Pikmin in August. Wonderful 101 in September. And then you've got Wind Waker in October. In November, we've got Donkey Kong kind of Tropical Freeze. Ah, oh, totally blanked on Donkey Kong. In December, we've got Super Mario 3D World. It's so, amazing. So we game after game after game. game. You're going to make me poor, Charlie. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> and on the 3DS side of things, you have uh, Pokemon. You've got a uh, new uh, Mario and Luigi game. You're not, uh, somehow you're managing to keep both of these platforms afloat uh, while still getting some nice third-party support, particularly indies. There was a nice indie showcase this morning as well. Uh, what would you say Nintendo's attitude towards indies is at the moment? We love indie developers. That's where a lot of the innovation comes. That's where some of the fresh ideas come. And so we, we try to make our platform as easy to develop for as possible for indie developers. Sure. And 3DS and Wii U are both getting that treatment. And the, the focus very much was on games. I didn't hear Mr. Owada talk about anything but games, whereas your competitors or colleagues, whatever you want to call them, Microsoft, Sony, there's been like bickering between them. Some even call it a console war, and uh, Nintendo just seems to be staying out of it. Uh, Sony was uh, bragging, almost. Now, my words, not yours, Charlie. Bragging about the fact that, oh, you can play used games on our console, and oh, you know, you only have to uh, pay five dollars to, to play online. And I'm like, guys, there's a Wii U out there right now with free online. And I bought a used game yesterday. I bought a uh, Tank Tank Tank. Because I thought, ah, that'll be all right. Uh, anyway, Charlie, I'm not going to talk about Tank Tank Tank. But uh, tell me about Nintendo's attitude towards your competitors. And uh, if you feel the need to get in the mix with them like that, or whether it's just about talking about the games. Well, we really feel our biggest competitor is time. It's all the things that you have to, in your free time that you could be doing, we try to make it so that Nintendo is the most compelling option that you have available to you. So we don't really pay a lot of attention to direct competitors, different companies, in terms of what gets us up in the morning and what motivates us to make great games. It's really about the creative vision we try and put behind developers that you saw today in the Wii U Software Showcase. Like, that's what we want to do is get them out there on the stage so they can explain what it is that makes them excited about the games and then let people try them right away. 
And if you're here at E3, you can try them here in the booth. And if you're uh, anywhere in the United States or Canada, you can go to a Best Buy store um, this week and try the games itself. It's the first time we've brought the E3 experience to people that aren't here at E3. So we're excited about people being able to hear about the games and try them themselves. So innovating by giving uh, people exactly what they want. You gave the, uh, the press what they wanted, you gave the online audience what they wanted, you gave the consumer what they want. Uh, you're giving everybody multiplayer. Every freaking game. So, excuse my language, Charles. Pikmin 3 has multiplayer, Bayonetta has multiplayer, uh, Super Mario World 3D has multiplayer, Donkey Kong has multiplayer. You're getting everybody involved. It's amazing. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels really good. <laughs> we should go play a video game right now. What would you choose? I'm a big fan of Donkey Kong. Yeah. I, I, th I think that the, the job those guys at Retro have done is, is just amazing. It, it's so much fun to play that game. You got the addition of Dixie now, along with Donkey and Diddy. Um, it's got a whole new gameplay dynamic in terms of the way the camera moves around, and it just feels great. I mean, when, you, when you play a game like Mario, there's just a different weight to the characters. You, you know, the, the lightness of the characters of Mario versus the heaviness of them sometimes in Donkey Kong. It just to me, I can just feel that difference in, in how the gameplay feels. So I, I like the, the differences, and I like both games a lot. But for me, Donkey Kong is the one that I, I'm going to on this show. Uh, who do you prefer, Donkey or Diddy or Dixie? I, I like Donkey. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> and heavy. Makes you feel like you're pushing guys around a little bit. But only guys that deserve it, like penguins yeah, and walruses. That's right. I actually really like that, that dynamic too, where you're racing in that cart on the um, railroad track, so then you're getting the air and, and stuff. So that's, that's a fun kind of side, side way to play that game. Well, I look forward to playing with you. I'm picking Dixie myself, because I want to check out the, how the new uh, character drives. She's got a whole new moves, right? Uh, she, she has moves only for you. <laughs> What ones that you will discover and have a good time playing with and, and really bring that game to life. Can't wait. Thanks, Charlie. Right, thank good talking with you.